Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Tracky and we're on the right track. PewDiePie, is he a racist? It's been the topic of hot, heated debate lately. And a lot of you have asked me what I, I think about this. If you cast your mind back, I did a video on racism quite a while back, which actually provoked quite unique responses by people. No, no, nothing bad, but it was my unique take on racism that it, I could see triggered something in people's heads when I was talking to them. And the comment section had a good healthy debate in there, but it, it wasn't toxic at, in any point. And it was really interesting to see how you guys assumed what color I was just from my voice. Now, I, I didn't take any offense to that. And this is what I'm gonna try and really touch on today when I'm talking about what's happened. People get offended for things sometimes that they shouldn't even get offended for. And recently, I had somebody use a derogatory term to me, which didn't offend me because I don't allow myself to get offended by certain things anymore. That's a lesson that I've taught myself over the last eight years or so. And it, it worked really well for me. But I found whilst I wasn't offended, there was other people offended who spoke up for me and indirectly became racist because they assumed I would feel a certain way because of my skin colour. And I, I know I might not be explaining this in the best way, but I'm sure most of you get what I'm saying to you. And now PewDiePie has hit the race trend again. He said the N word. And I'm seeing a lot of debates and I've, I've sat back. I haven't done my video straight away because it's not about the trending to me. It's a much more sensitive topic than that. I wanted to, to look what people think about it and then I was going to give my point of view. And I see far too many people let this word affect them day to day. Irrespective of what creed, colour or gender you are. Now my belief is, the N word is exactly that, a word. And whilst I used to let it really affect me back in the day, someone called me back at that back in the day, my bag's off, we are fighting there and then. But then I started to realise something which kind of, in my eyes, made me a bit of a hypocrite. I'd be in the kitchen washing the dishes and I'd be blasting out rap music two-pack or something and I'd, I'd be reciting the lyrics back and then BAM it pops out, WHOA! There's the N-word. But you know something? Didn't even realise it come out. Just flew out. And that's when I started to realise we get offended, and when I say we, I am speaking about black people. Um, and I'm not trying to segregate here. I'm just stating the fact I'm black. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but I started to think to myself, well, why is it okay for black people to use that word? And for anybody else that's not black, not to use that word? And it was a question that I asked myself for years research everything you name it i've done it and i might be one of a few select few people that feel feel this way and think this way but me personally i think the n-word's a liability it's a, such a great area it's unbelievable and i hate great areas they're the bane of my life you know when you're trying to deal with something and you're trying to explain it but it's a gray area so, depending on who you're talking to, is who's going to understand what you're saying. And furthermore, I've seen celebrities like Ice Cube, for instance, when he went on um, TV not so long ago saying it's our word. Now, for me, I don't really want to be associated with that word. Because when you refer to me as a colour, I'm black. I'm not in word. I'm black. And for me, I couldn't think of a worse word to want to claim as mine, especially knowing that one of my ancestors was called that whilst being a slave. 
carrying out slave duties. So why would I want to take that back, that word? It doesn't empower me. It doesn't empower me in, at all. And it doesn't empower anybody that thinks it's okay to use it. The only time they're empowered is when whoever's listening with their ears processes that and gets offended by it. Now, am I condoning what PewDiePie has said? And am I saying it's okay what he said? Hell no, 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 no. Do I think he's a racist? Now that's, that's, it's a tough question. I'd like to think, I would well, I'd like to hope he's not. And I don't necessarily look at him as a white man and think because he's used the N word, he's automatically racist, which is what a lot of people are doing. My mates, some of them are white and they've dropped that N bomb on me when we're having a discussion and we're we're having some banter, we're going at each other, trying to offend each other the most. Your mum, your mum, your dad, your nan, blah, blah, blah. And then the N word comes out. Ooh, you're going there. You're going, you're really going there. Okay, you cracker. I've done it. And we've laughed about it because we believe black and white that racism is nonsense. One of my favorite shows is Family Guy. And the reason I love Family Guy is because Family Guy always does that with that line, that thin line, goes above it, goes below it. Always right on the grain, close to the grain. Very controversial show. And you have to be quite intelligent to understand some of the digs. And they, ha they have digs at every single gender, color, creed. They have a laugh with everyone and that's kind of how I look at my life it's all in jest to me it's all a joke I don't take it serious because when I was that age and I was 11 12 in the playground and someone told me suck your mum you breed because breed was the word that used to get me not the n-word breed because I'm mixed I used to get offended but then I started to question myself why are you getting stressed over a word, man? You're giving them the power, and that's what happens here. And it's it's unfortunate, because if you look down in the comment section, and what is all come out after this whole saga, is people arguing about race. Scaremongering, racemongering. It, it's exactly what racists want to happen. I'll go back to the question. Is PewDiePie racist? I have to question that now. And the reason I have to question it is because of the context of the word and how it was said. It came out very, very fluidly. WD-40, greased up, lard, whatever you want. It came straight out, just dropped out, boom. Now you guys have seen me stream on many occasions. And you guys know, I rage. I'm passionate about gaming. If it pisses me off, it pisses me off, I don't care. And I will call people all the words under the sun. And if you take it away from racism again, and we'll talk about offensive words instead, just to put it into context for some people that can't get over the racing. You can say the F word, you can say the B word. You can say all these swear words in the world but why do some people get super offended when you use the C word to see you next Tuesday? Does that make sense, guys? Because I, I think I've broke it down really well there. Some people just want to get offended. However, in PewDiePie's case, it's for me, it doesn't matter about a hard R or an A at the end of it. It means the same thing to me. It means the same thing to me. I don't care whether you're a black guy using it or you're a white guy using it. That word there is a word that only makes me think one thing. And that's what it was used as back in the day. That's where it derived from. So that's what it is for me. I don't think it's a friendly word. And I, I, I am not going to sit here and act like I'm innocent. I've used it in the past because you hear it in so many rap songs. You think it's cool. But I step away from that now. I'm almost like common sense. 
I don't I don't refer to a fellow black geezer as the n-word and think it's cool for me to use it but a white guy over there not to use it it's offensive it is offensive and it will offend people and that's what the issue is here PewDiePie is of such stature one of the highest subscribe channel one of them anyway I don't know if he still is but he has to understand he has a massive massive fan base and he is an absolute monumental influence to people and even if he didn't mean it in a racist way he will still influence people to think that it's okay to use that word as a Caucasian guy in front of black people where they're about to get their shit smashed up because they thought it was okay and I've met people like this I've met people like this that have used the word because of the highly into the black culture they're really into their rap music and it's just slipped out in conversation and we've looked at them like it's cool don't, don't worry are you okay because you can see the shock in his face that he's used the word now PewDie's used it in a a, a way where he's trying to insult somebody and that's this is where my issue lies the worst thing he could think to insult somebody that was pissing him off on a game was the n-word and that is always going to be at the cost of black people you you know what i feel about the word but right now that 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 doesn't even matter because when you look at the bigger scale of things some people are still smarting from slavery. A lot of people turn around, I've heard it before, get over it. It's hard to get over something when it's part of your history because you are not supposed to forget where you come from. You are supposed to use it to better yourself. And I always look at my life sometimes and think to myself, and maybe I'm just philosophical like this. I look at my, my life sometimes and think it's hard. And then I think to myself, I've got ancestors that were getting whipped in the fields, working all the hours God sent them and got paid absolutely nothing, maybe got a bit of dinner. That's the, that's how I look at my history. Now, I know that's a bit extreme, but it's reality and that is reality. And we live in a society now where everybody is offended by anything. Now, am I saying that the N-word is anything? No, 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 no. But black people have done themselves no favours by using that word also, especially with a culture that a lot of white kids are into now. The integration between the two races is great, but social media will leave you to believe that it's bad. I go up and down my road all the time now, black, white kids, Pakistani kids, Indian kids, Chinese kids, Japanese kids, you name it, are playing together in the street, are rolling around together, interracial couples. I see a lot more of them than when I was at school. When I was at school, I was the only quarter cast guy in the whole damn school. My mum's black, my dad's half white, half black. I was the only one. And I felt a bit bitter because of that. And that's where racism affected me. And I thought, oh look, as I grew up, wow, a lot of people are starting to embrace the fact that I'm mixed, you know what I mean? And I'm kind of a the depiction of two cultures smashing together and I'm a product of them. Two cultures that are very separate, but are very good together. And for me, it's easy to, to jump on this bandwagon and, you know, yeah, you're a racist, racist, racist. We will probably never know if PewDiePie is racist. We can have a guess, but we shall never know. It, it just is it's a distasteful thing he's done. And for so, someone of such stature, it, it must be his worst nightmare. And in a way, I'm a remor remorseful person. I feel sorry for him to a degree because I can see when I look and watch the video instantly. He, 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 
if he could go, <laughs> this is gonna sound a bit racist now. If he could have went white, he would have went white. You can see in his face that it comes over him. He realizes straight away what he's just done. And that's the part of me as a human thinks to myself, there's remorse there. And if he's showing remorse, can he be a racist? I don't know. I think my personal opinion, because I'm going to wrap this up now. He's a guy who has made so many jokes mocking racism that he's become the butt of his own joke. That's my personal opinion. And it's a shame, Pewd. Because um, you are kind of a funny guy. And people are going to bash you, bash the shit out. Yeah, and I've saw what happened previously with the Wall Street Journal. And I thought you was hard done by. But in reality, you've done yourself absolutely no favours now. You've made a colossal, colossal mess up here. And um, more power to you, brother. I hope, I hope you bounce back. Because, listen, it ain't about hating on nobody. I ain't offended by what you said. Although a lot of people are, I don't condone what's happened at all. But for me, it's just a, it's just a word, man. It's just another word. So um, yeah, guys, that is my opinion. Sorry, it's a long-winded video, but it's not a topic that you can just skim over at all. There are many buttons you could hit, <laughs> but a like and subscribe button or unsubscribe button in this case, if you feel that way. <laughs> Don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.